And I didn't even tell you guys yet why this wave, like what's the incentive for, like why would anybody want to do this wave? Good question. Um, so the reason, actually he has a, he has a pet out right now. You can kind of see it before he disappears. See that pet right there, Adobe? He named it. Um, that is the Tesla pod pet. He must know I'm talking about it because he's doing tricks right now. That is the Tesla pet. Um, you can tame that pet. How do I say? Well, first of all, you have to get a lock capacitor. Let me, uh, let me pull up my notes here. I have some notes and I can share all the notes with you. It is in my Tesla Tesla notes. I think it's like right. Cali locks Tesla right here. Uh, so these are my Tesla notes. Um, you can see the the waypoint right there. Um, six seven nine four five, comma. 85442, comma, 124. Um, so if I look at a map and I put that on there, it's like right in front of me by this tree where the, everybody kind of hangs out and waits for the next wave, which is also, to give you a better reference, it's just north of the Medusa Swamp. Okay. And if you... If you fly over north of the Medusa Swamp and you're looking for it, look for this little tree and then land right in front of it. Granted, the area for the wave event is a no vehicle zone, but just outside of it, like right over here, vehicles can land. Um, Jack was the one that helped me out, so shout out to Jack. Um, he, he was kind enough to give me the details for this event when I was trying to figure out what this was all about. Um, so you have to get a lock capacitor and that item comes from the boss, that level 140 mob that we killed. And if you're soloing this event, this wave event, and you get the boss one-on-one -on -one without a bunch of other mobs, you can kill the boss, no problem. Not that tough. As long as you got your electric protection on, like 60, 60 electric on every part. And if you get a lock capacitor, then you can go into uh, somewhere in C1. I think you repair something with the lock capacitor and you open up a room in C1 on RDI. And there's a room where you can tame a Tesla pet. So now I want to I want to mention about what this Tesla pet is. Let me see here. Let me go let me go find some information for you guys so we can break down the Tesla pet. One second. I'm not going to edit this. So if you're watching it on like YouTube or whatever, you can just skip to the part where I talk about Tesla pet. I didn't like a parrot, but it's okay. Oops. As shock therapy. Let's try that. Oh, not working.
know what the buffs are, like, generally. But, actually, maybe he could tell me. Scorp. Hey, Scorp. Can you tell me the pet buffs and levels, please? If he doesn't tell me, then I'll put him on the spot. I don't want to say for a stream because then it's going to be like he feel obligated. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Link is perfect. Scorp's pretty helpful. I mean, even if he, even if he said no or whatever, I wouldn't care because, <laughs> or he might have been AFK. But he's pretty cool. Summer's cool too. Her and I have been like, just her and I are soloing like a lot of bosses. Not maybe solo is not the right word, but just her and that I can take out like Goki Busaki. Um, maybe not a lot of bosses. We go from Goki Busaki to here. All right, so um, here. Wow! Again, special thanks to Jack. <laughs> And Scorp. So Jack posted this in PCF. Oops. He says, uh, Mindark introduced the probably the best pet to date. This pet is kind of hard to get. Unlike any other pets, it first involves looting an item. The one we talked about, the lock capacitor to open up the door in C1. Okay. Thank you, Jack. All right, so his pet Sparky. Um, that one. Well, let's just go to the skills. It is a legendary pet. Um, so here's the buffs, right? So if you have the pet, it takes time to unlock some of the buffs. First buff you can unlock is at level four, and that is increased pet focus generation. And what that does is when you turn on, when you get unlocked that buff and you turn it on, right? You have to enable it. You can only have one buff enabled at a time. And when you enable it, um, the pet will, so you, in order to, how do I say this first? In order to like use tricks on your pet and gain uh, experience for your pet, you need focus. So this, buff right here when you turn it on it generates focus 50 percent faster um, at the cost of consuming 285 energy an hour which sounds crazy i would have to like look more into that but that sounds really expensive to to use if i'm not mistaken like like it sounds like it might not be worth it to use that maybe i don't know but I have to research that part more. But so the next one you can unlock, let's say you get to level 26. It's pretty tough to get to level 26. It takes a lot of time, a lot of patience. So, but if you can get to level 26 on your pet, it will unlock electrotherapy. And that will, it's, it's kind of like a double-edged sword. Uh, if you turn on electrotherapy and you don't get healed, no healing, um, I think you'll probably eventually just die. You'll, cause you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna lose 10, 20% uh, of your maximum health is lost every 10 seconds, which I think is a lot if you have like a big HP. So if you have like, if you have like uh, 300 HP times, 20%, I think, 60 HP, I think that's, I think that's right, yeah, 20%, so 60 damage every 10 seconds, it's 
you would definitely not turn it on unless you're being healed. Because when you get healed, you get 50% increased healing. Which is a lot of extra healing, I think. Um, like I said, it's one of those things I would have to like experiment. Like maybe if you had a bunch of healers on you, um, or even like one good healer, might be worthwhile. I'm not sure. Uh, it's it's kind of tough to say on that one without having without testing it. And then next you have increased critical damage. So here the buff gets really good. Oh, what was that past oh, shock therapy? Electrotherapy requires level 26, but increased crit damage only requires level 12. Okay. It's a little bit out of order there. You could unlock increased crit damage before you unlock electrotherapy. Um, and this buff is really super useful. Uh, these next two buffs are the, re the whole premise why this pet is so sought after. I wouldn't say it's because of electrotherapy. I'm sure there's a use for it, but people are after this pet for the crit damage. So you, you can only have one buff on at a time. So you turn on increased crit damage and whatever weapon you're using will do extra 5% damage of crit whenever you land a crit. Um, and the burn for that is 15 energy an hour, which is not much. That's reasonable. So it's not so crazy to have that buff on. It's really useful. And so that unlocks at level 12. If you can get the pet two, why are there two down here? Oh, I guess there's three buffs of increased crit damage. Wow, there's three of them. If you can get the pet to level uh, 50, then that same buff just turns into 10% uh, instead of 5%. It burns the same amount of energy. And holy crap, I just realized this. If you can get the pet to, I mean, this is friggin' insane, it might take you like, I want to say over a year. Uh, unless they change the way the pet feeding mechanic works, but... This, it's kind of crazy to get this high of a level on a pet, level 80. That's like lifetime feeding. <laughs> it's like a long time. And it's super expensive to feed your pet that much food. But I don't know the, I don't know the cost, but it's a lot. I want to say, I want to say 10,000 pet, just throwing a number out there, but it's a lot of food to get to level 80, unless they change the way the mechanic works. Um, the strength would be maybe not 10,000. Okay, let's just be a little bit conservative and say 6,000, but level 80 is pretty crazy. If you can get to level 80 on your pet, you can have a 13% increased crit damage. And you can pretty much have the pet out like whenever you want. Like you can have it all the time. It really doesn't matter because it's only going to burn one energy per hour. So it's extremely useful if you can get this pet to level 80. Extremely useful. Um, and it's, yeah, cause normally people don't want to have a pet out. Like I don't even want to have a pet out. I have a pet that I use for taming and I get increased skills, like a lot of extra skills for taming, but I don't even like keeping it out. I only bring it out right when I'm about to tame, uh, because that's the only time it's buff takes effect is when I'm, uh, when I'm about to use that tame, so then I put it away and I have like a hot key, put the pet away. But with 1% energy consumption an hour, you can keep that pet out as much as you want, you know, but sure. Like if you're just crafting for hours, you, you can put it away. Yeah. Or if you know, you're going on a hunt, bring it out. There's a the lock capacitor. Thank you for putting that picture in there. I was wondering what it looked like. Do you need, do, do the new Tesla pod waves and kill the boss that drops this item default lock capacitor. It looks like a part of the door opening mechanism. Yeah. That's really cool. Thank you for that. Um, again, Jack, thank you. Yep. He puts the waypoint, that one we just talked about, the location. Cool. All right. So uh, that is that.